Go strapless. Never use straps again. But L.A. Guard Dogs secures a four-wheeler in seconds. It eliminates the need for straps. It prevents movement even on rough terrain. L.A. Guard Dog is universal and will fit any truck with a two-inch receiver. The simplistic, heavy-duty design works on all ATVs with a ball mount. L.A. Guard Dog comes with a two-inch Class 1 hitch receiver, ideal for towing small trailers. For hauling an ATV on a trailer, try our Trailer Dog. Both products become an anti-theft device when using these special key-to-like locks sold separately. If an ATV will fit in the back of a truck, we can lock it down. At the same time, it secures your ramp. Ten times faster than straps, ten times stronger than straps. Hi, I'm Danny Weaver with LA Guard Dogs. You have my personal guarantee, if you're not fully satisfied, we'll give you 100% of your money back. Contact us today for a dealer nearest you. Today I've challenged Bubba to a contest, see which ones can tire a four-wheeler down the fastest. This is your typical Bubba strap deal right here when you get them out of the toolbox, they're all wadded up in a mess. Bubba, I'm gonna see what, if I can tie mine down quicker than yours, what do you think? You're gonna buy lunch if I beat you. All right, it's the deal. All right, when I say go, I want you to go. All right, ready, go. Done. Where are we eating? We still got a mess. Well, working on it. Okay. Another great feature about the guard dog is uh, the anti-theft part of it for your ramps. A lot of people don't think about that, but a lot of your ramps get stolen and these are very expensive. Uh, all you do is once you unload your bike, take your ramps, throw them back up in your truck, leave any one of the holes right over your guard dog, Take your upright arm, drop it back down, take your receiver lock pin or anything that will go through here to lock it through your hole. There you go. Now, Bubba, a while ago you told me you could get those ramps off of there. I can't. I want to see you get them off. Let's go. Might have been wrong. That's what I thought. I want to show you how easy it is to assemble your guard dog once you take it out of the box. You got four basic pieces. You got two of these shafts, and the people get these confused a lot. The shorter shaft goes with your receiver base. And to put it together, all you do is take it, insert it in here like this, and now it's ready to go on your truck once you get this together. You got three sets of set screws right here on the bottom, one on the side. And what this does, this allows you to adjust it in and out to clear your tailgate or to get you more space. Once you've got this put together in the position you need, all you need to put the guard dog together is a three quarter inch end wrench. You just tighten your nuts on your set screws on the outside, all three of them. Once you get them set, taking this is a jam nut, put your jam nut on there. Tighten these as tight as you can get them. Same way on your bottom. Now your base is ready to go on your truck. Then all you do is take your upright arm, drop it down through the coupler head like so, and it too adjusts up and down to fit different heights of bikes and different trucks. 
And all you do is take your set screw right here and tighten it up, then you're ready to go. And that's how easy it is just to, to put it together. Now that you've got your guard dog fully assembled, I'm going to show you how quick and easy it is to put it on your truck. Stick it in your receiver. Stick your safety pin in. Another neat feature about the new guard dog is all this slack in your receiver right here. We built in a slackinator system. This is something new on all the new guard dogs. Take your little wrench that comes with it, tighten it up. Just tighten it as tight as you can get it. And that takes all the slack out of your receiver. No, no more wobbling or bumping around. Your bike won't be moving around. Then you're ready to put your upright arm on. Let your tailgate down, load your bike. Drop your upright in, couple it down. Put your pin through it. Never use a guard dog without that safety pin in it. Another feature when you're putting this guard dog on and you got putting it on your bike, what you want to do is you want that pin to be, that's the perfect position right here just below this housing. Then adjust this coupler head down to your bike and that's a shorter distance to have to take it on and off and make it a lot easier. Tighten your handle up here and you're ready to go. Question we have asked all the time and it's, it's a really a good question is what happens if you ride your bike up in and it's not perfectly lined up and if you can, now you can see that the, the guard dog's here and the ball's off to the left a little bit. What a lot of people do is they'll try to grab the bike from the side and they're pulling on it and they're pulling down on it while they're trying to drag it over and it's almost impossible to move that bike because of the corrugations in your tailgate and your tire tread. If you'll get behind that bike and say, I need to go to the right, if I get on this left-hand corner right here and start bouncing that bike up and down just a little bit like that, just bounce it a little bit and it'll shove right, right or left. Just look and see if your ball's lined up. Once you get it lined up, put your upright arm on there, pull it back if it needs to go the other way. Same thing, get on the opposite side and just bounce it over a little bit. Latch it down, you're good to go. The key is bouncing the bike up and down. Let the bike work for you. Now you can almost do it one-handed that way.